my passion for law. So um, my interest in the law was sparked um, when I came across some very high profile cases whilst I was at school. And they stayed with me until it was time to select my A-levels. So when I was making the choice, because I preferred English and history, law seemed to be the, you know, the better um, third option. And ever since I sat in that A-level classroom studying law, it's just been one of my passions. I fell in love with it straight away. So after I selected my A-levels and when it came to um, choosing what degree to study, um, it was a no-brainer. Um, I knew it was a law. Um, so I studied my law degree, it was a straight law with some criminology in it as well. Um, completed my law degree and um, whilst I was studying my legal practice course I started working at some firms. I got some experience behind me and worked in predominantly employment law and employers liability cases. Um, after that I um, kind of wanted to travel so I decided that I needed something that was a bit more flexible and that's where supply teaching came in. So I started to work as a supply teacher, as an instructor, and I worked, um, so I sort of mixed working as, a, as an instructor on a supply basis up with travelling, and um, I worked across secondary, primary, and FE. Um, after that, I needed to make a choice as to whether I wanted to go back into practice or whether I wanted to stay in teaching. So I um, did some um, drop-in sessions at my local sixth form where I observed some A-level law classes and I knew that was the right time to sort of marry up um, law with teaching. Um, that's when I did my post-16 qualifications, did my experience, my teaching hours here and I started working at Matthew Bolton in 2015 as a visiting lecturer. Part of my role is leading on enrichment for law and criminology and I've always been very passionate about that because having worked in practice that, that you do sometimes find yourself a bit out of depth if you've not necessarily got the relevant experience so that's always motivated me to ensure that I include that in my um, in the teaching that I provide for my students so um, I was always very keen to make sure that my students were learning beyond the textbook and beyond the PowerPoints, whether that was through court visits, insight sessions, workshops, and then that kind of led me to Bela Law Academy. Bela Law Academy came about um, with, uh, with me leading on enrichment. I have got a network that I tend to call upon quite often to come into college in order to deliver insight sessions, workshops, and on this one particular occasion I'd invited the lovely Nadine Beeler in to support our mock interviews for our HND students and um, so she she arrived we conducted the interviews upstairs in the conference room and what followed after that was a conversation whereby both Nadine and I sort of talked and we realized we were both very passionate about enrichment about bridging gaps within between students and um, legal professionals and Nadine had mentioned that she'd just set up a, a, a law academy. It was a no-brainer at that point and I said we have got to work together and following that then what we did was we um, developed the professional legal skills program. We have a board of um, I have a board of members, Nadine asked me to join the board as well so I feel very blessed because not only am I uh, working at Matthew Bolton as a um, law and criminology lecturer and leading on enrichment but I am also on the board at Beeler Law Academy so I'm able to influence things from that end as well as here. Recently acquired some um, national law firms that I've joined to, um, to so it's all very very exciting. The aim of the academy is twofold and they've um, and one of the reasons why I just felt that I had to work and we had to do something together is because they were so aligned with what I'm very passionate about. Firstly, it was to bridge the gap um, the, and make sure that our legal profession serves the community that it serves because it's um, a lot of our students need support because they don't have those, they don't have the network that a lot of people within the legal profession have got. Um, so just to make those connections, make that net, uh, make those um, build a network up for themselves, which will serve them later. 
And secondly, through the program that we have, it, they're able to acquire the, um, the skills, the legal skills, work ready skills that are missing when you actually go into practice. Because yes, we can concentrate on the academic side here, but they also need to develop those soft skills and specific legal skills. And through the, uh, the pro professional legal skills program, they're able to do that. Um, we put on a variety of events. We have um, insight sessions, which are large group sessions. We've got law conferences, we've got networking events, drafting workshops. Uh, we've got a TEDx style um, talk event coming up in a couple of weeks. So it's uh, we've got mentoring work experience opportunities lined up. It's the the opportunities are, are great, and the opportunity to build a legal skill set and work experience is immense for the students. What's the best thing about my job? The best thing about my job is the students, um, seeing them progress. The law, because I, I love the law, but also I think through the enrichment side of things. I love working within industry as well, so I love that connection um, with industry. I think I would really miss it if, that, if I didn't have that as part of my role. Um, I find my job very rewarding. Um, I, it's, it's great to be able to be a part of their journey, to start off their legal, their legal careers, the legal journeys, and then witness how they progress, and then especially when they come back with their success stories when they're at university, when they land their jobs as paralegals, trainee solicitors, that's always highly rewarding.